saints this evening, or there will be darkness this evening, and we'll be persons of consequence this evening, or we'll be persons of interest this evening, and sure, we'll be human for a while. Well, as I, you know, I mentioned earlier that I understand this to be ceremonial and not so much theatrical. And the distinction I'm making is to say we're compromising two of the fundaments of theater in how we do what we do in the Nights of Grief and Mystery. The first thing is we're compromising the ability of the audience to keep its distance from what's happening. We're compromising what they used to call the fourth wall, right? The other thing we're doing is compromising the notion that because there's a script of sorts, then there's a foregone conclusion as to the end, as to the outcome. The outcome is yet to be determined. We know where we mean to go, but it remains to be seen whether or not we can be accompanied by allies. And that's what we're trying to convert the room into, is a kind of communion alliance. You know, I'm using words that are that are typically re have religious connotations. And in the best sense of the term, I suppose they do. No, kind of non-aligned um, sort of spirit instinct, I suppose I, I could call it that. And uh, I'm very proud of it, I have to say. But this thing of building the mountain, well, you can imagine you come to a different city every night, different venue with different expectations that people have of you depending on what they've heard or who said what about you or what they saw or whatever. And uh, basically there's, it's this and they're just kind of saying, okay, prove it or show me or do it or, you know, and um, if it was a spectacle, I suppose we could do so with a lot of fireworks and pyrotechnics and big sound, but it's a duet. So the scale is very ordinary, you could say. But the undertaking is not ordinary at all. The undertaking is, is rooted in the understanding that we're trying to build a willingness, first of all, to proceed otherwise for a few hours together, right? Without having to forget anything you know, without ever having to abandon your beliefs, your understandings, your convictions. So we can proceed otherwise without engaging this material at the level of agree or disagree, we can be humans together for a while in the presence of some awfully challenging business. Yeah. The plight of the young, the um, what's to be with uh, the opioid crisis. I mean, I can, I could just start pulling them off the shelf here, but all of those elements are this mountain building thing that you've asked me about. We're establishing a kind of, you could call it a frame of reference or the terms of reference that we're going to be proceeding with. Then we climb the mountain and we report on the view from there. And then we climb back down from the mountain towards the end of the evening and disassemble the mountain as a way of bidding people farewell and not leaving them, you know, hanging, dangling over a precipice, uncertain about, you know, what now? So all of that happens in a two hour period. It's quite a challenge and it's quite an undertaking. And it asks, you know, all we have to give uh, creatively and uh, improvisationally. So, there'll be saints this evening, or there'll be darkness this evening, and we'll be persons of consequence this evening, or we'll be persons of interest this evening. Sure, we'll be human for a while, but that's the deal, just a while, and then mystery comes and mystery just takes the rest. So we are unsteady pilgrims now, and we're playing for time, for we are modern, God knows we are. And we are homeless, and we are confused by freedom.